Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-August reading. I'm just doing bonus readings this month, A, because my sound was not very good and a lot of people were cranky and B, because the solar eclipse has passed, the lunar eclipse has passed and I think everybody's looking for a little bit more guidance um, after the storm really as it were. Uh, the energies are probably quite heightened at the moment. People with the retrograde energy are feeling a bit stuck and then the eclipse energy shakes everybody up. So it's a very sensitive astrologically charged time. I don't know if you've maybe noticed but other people are more sensitive or maybe saying one thing to you and another to somebody else and maybe um, people are behaving one way when they mean another way and it's just been a little bit frantic I guess. So I'm gonna see what the messages we have coming up for you are Capricorn. We have that beautiful full moon in Pisces on the 26th which is your 11th house of communications and friendships. Um, so certainly friendships are going to be taking centre stage with this full moon. It's all about release in a full moon. I'm going to be making a video on the full moon specifically but for now this reading focuses on what you might need to release in terms of your friendships, whether it's your ideal of friendship, changing the way you see your friendships, maybe you've lost some friendships recently, maybe you've disconnected with others, or maybe you feel a little bit like your acquaintances and your work colleagues aren't quite um, getting you right now, is something that I'm sort of seeing. So I'm going to go into the reading and see what we have. Five of Cups. Okay. Oh, Four of Wands. What a contrast. Oh, the Empress. Okay. We got underneath the Six of Pentacles. Okay, so community is important. When I was saying about the uh, 11th house full moon, your friendships, particularly with other females, are taking centre stage. Your relationship with your family and your mother are also taking centre stage. Now, I sense that some of you may be, with the six of pentacles, having to assist somebody financially in your family. Um, there seems to be something to do with family here as well. There is romance, I will get to that as well, but uh, there seems to be almost like either somebody has shut you out or you have been shutting somebody out. And I'm feeling like this is in your immediate environment. If it's not family, it could be friends. There's a disconnect. And as I said, with the full moon, it could be there, that there's a misunderstanding or a lack of communication that has resulted in a a bit of a strain on a relationship that gets revealed alongside the full moon. This could also be to do with friendships, as I say. Um, female friendships in particular, there could be focusing your attention on the wrong people and ignoring the genuine people. I almost feel a little bit like you are giving a lot of attention to trying to please certain people that have rejected you and you're losing connection with people because this is what this five of cups is. This is him concentrating on the cups that have fallen rather than the cups that are behind. This can be very much a glass half empty attitude with certain things. And I just see this as relationships because it's very closely linked to your community, your friendships. It may also be that some of you are looking at the worst side of your partner or the worst side of your relationships instead of the positive side. Because the Five of Cups can be concentrating on somebody's flaws rather than concentrating on their good qualities. Because there is genuine people around you. There's genuine love there. And I almost sense that you have possibly directed your attention to... Um, more unfulfilling relationships for some reason. Now, I don't quite know why, but there just is a little bit of a warning here with the cards that um, 
it's better to make sure you know which side your bread is buttered, particularly if you are dealing with people in your everyday to day life. Um, some of you are also dealing with a strain with a mother or a mother figure, I think. Um, because of a lack of communication with the full moon and Pisces coming up, this may get addressed. But you may have to make a bit more um, of the effort with the Six of Pentacles here. You may have to be the one giving a bit more attention, maybe giving a bit more time. Some of you may also be feeling, as I said, like you've had to help out a family member financially or you've relied on them to help you out financially. Now I'm going to draw a couple of clarifiers and see what we've got. Capricorn. Oh. Seven of Pentacles. Oh. Death card. And judgment. Right. Um, let me see. So some of you maybe you can see this. Some of you Now, I don't know if you guys, if you watched that new moon um, and the solar eclipse videos I did, I talked about how the solar eclipse new moon in Leo affected Capricorns and how it hit you in the eighth house, which is the house of death and reincarnation, etc, etc. We have both here. We have death and we have judgment. You could be dealing with Scorpio people or people that have very Scorpio laden charts because that's what the Scorpio cards are. If it's not people, it's more the energy. So I'm almost feeling like... I'm reading this as a resurrection. There's an air sign here as well. This could be an uh, Aquarius, Libra or a Gemini person. Um, but I'm sort of sensing this as something that you thought was done is not done. Something that you thought had closure did not have closure. And you may be hearing from somebody out of the blue. Is also something that I'm getting. Um, it, it, it really looks like a resurrection to me. It's, it's, it's almost like when people say, you know, they're very much set in the motion of, I don't think I can do this anymore. I don't want to be with this person anymore. Or at least, well, I don't think I should be with this person anymore. And then, you know, a week later, they're back together. It's sort of that kind of inclination. I, I just feel like this the shadow side of your personality is being heightened. And I did talk about this in the new moon video. I think some of you are very much ignoring your shadow side or the, there's like a, there's a, there's a darkness that seems to be carrying itself through the Capricorn readings because it's not been addressed and, you know, it'll repeat itself until it's addressed, but it's more to do with spiritual growth. It is growing as a person the Seven of Pentacles with the Empress is very, especially with the Four of Wands, it's almost like really wanting to impress your community and impress the people around you. And I do feel like, as I say, it's possibly, it's possibly like, um, it's possibly for the wrong people. And there seems to be a need here with the death card and judgment to call time on trying to please everyone or trying to appear to be this empress person if you're feeling like you're in um, a five of cups mode. Do you know what I mean? It, it sort of reads almost like some of you are picking yourself apart and trying to present yourself otherwise. There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a strange dichotomy here. I'm going to draw one more clarifier because this, the death and judgment's um, quite intense. Oh, king of cups. Okay, three of pentacles. Some of you are dealing with either a water sign, a Scorpio, Cancer, a Pisces, or somebody who fits that elk. I'm seeing the sign Scorpio really attached to this, but it could be a Cancer, um, it could be a Pisces, but some of you might be deciding to call time on this person um, and then change your mind. Or this could be somebody from the past. 
uh, that resurrects something that you thought was done. Somebody suddenly talks to you out of the blue, I think, in the last two weeks in August. And this has actually happened um, for Taurus, I think. Was it Taurus? It was Taurus. And um, the Earth signs appeared in Cancer's reading. So this could be a Cancerian or somebody of that nature. But it certainly seems to be that they maybe talk to you out of the blue and you might have to, as I say, you thought you had closure, but maybe you don't. But they seem to want something. They seem to want to talk or you hear from them suddenly. Um, with the Empress here, which rules the mother, some of you that are estranged from your mother, etc. might hear from her. Um, there seems to be a call out of the blue. Now, I know, I know that judgment and death looks quite scary, um, but there's really no reason to fear it. I just feel like this is somebody with unfinished business. And um, something needs to be addressed. Now, I'm going to draw a goddess guidance card and see what we've got going for you. So, Capricorn, Capricorn. Oh, Mary Magdalene, unconditional love. Love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearances may be. So outward appearances, as I said before, you're presenting one way and maybe the fundamental um, honest connection with others isn't there. You need to focus on the people that truly love you and love you for who you are and you love for who they are. And it's not about what you're appearing to have. It's not about what they're appearing to have. Don't be so concerned with status. Um, be more into the authentic. You know, be more um, accepting of others' flaws as well with this Five of Cups is something that I'm seeing here. You know, accept people for who they are and not what they can give you, more or less. Um, defending yourself would take you down a level. Just be comfortable with who you are. Don't be so, um, don't worry about what other people think. People that have hurt you, forgive them. Forgive yourself, you know. I also feel like with Mary Magdalene here, some of you might be dealing with misogyny in the workplace or misogyny from a partner even. There seems to be um, unfair judgments coming from other people. And what Mary Magdalene does she doesn't she doesn't think about those things she overlooks them just open your heart and focus on who you are as a person and the the heart that you have and the heart that others have and you can't go wrong if someone does reappear and you just want to let them go or you want things to just be left in the past as they were say it kindly you know just forgive them forgive yourself and move forward if you've issues relating to your mother or your family if there is a fracture between your relationships, friendships, family, lovers, etc. Be prepared to forgive them and move past it. That's what, well, that's what the card is asking you to do. <laughs> Can't tell you to do that. But that is the energies that's coming up. So I hope you enjoyed that Capricorn and I will see you in September. Bye.